Hey everyone, my name is Robert. I'm a product designer and I've been working on a very special project for a couple years now called Healthcare OS. And this project is attempting to redesign and rethink the EMR or electronic medical record. For those of you who have been here for a while, watched some of my other videos, you know it's been a minute since I've made a video. I think the last video I made was in October of 2021. And I want to talk a little bit about why it's been, there's been this little bit of this hiatus. I've had some people ask if I'm still working on it, is it still happening, where is it at? And I also want to talk a little bit about where are we going with 2022 and what is the next steps with Healthcare OS. So let's get into it. So why the hiatus? Well, uh, there's actually two reasons. Uh, the first one, very exciting, I got a new job. Um, I actually have been working as a contracting designer for about a year and a half. Uh, and on November 1st of 2021, I got a new job. Um, it was with a, a new startup. If you're connected with me on LinkedIn or on Twitter, you've seen that. Uh, I'm not gonna necessarily talk about it here since I'm not sure if I'm allowed to for one thing. Um, but uh, I got a new job that was, it's amazing. It's a Series B startup um, and I'm the first product designer in the company. It's been a really great opportunity to learn so much just about how startups work, how the environment comes to be, uh, what even goes on inside of a startup, what does the inside look like. And um, it's actually informed quite a bit for um, at least my thinking and kind of the process for what I can be doing better with Healthcare OS. Um, and I'm really excited about that. I think there's, a, there's already been a lot of great learnings. Now, the second reason that I've been on a little bit of a hiatus is essentially around November 1st, uh, 2021, around that job transition, um, in those couple of weeks after starting that new job, I realized that I'd hit this pretty incredible amount of burnout um, in my own just kind of practice as a designer. Um, I, When I took a vacation at Thanksgiving of last year, um, I think that was the first like true like paid time off type vacation I'd had in like a year and a half or two years or something like that. Um, so it had been a, a while um, and I realized just like the constant working, no no real days off, no real uh, vacation days or, or holidays off even. Um, I just realized that it really wore me down. I was lethargic, I was uninspired, I felt uh, overwhelmed, my anxiety was through the roof. There was so much going on just mentally that it was really, really, um, it, it was honestly really hard to even think about doing some of this work. And so um, between taking some time off at Thanksgiving of last year, taking some time off around the Christmas and New Year's holidays, um, I really basically came into 2021 a lot more reinvigorated. And as I began to settle more into the role um, in this company, I have become way more uh, creatively engaged. Uh, I feel more involved and more just kind of aware of my own creativity than I have in a long time. And that has led to some really interesting kind of thoughts about Healthcare West and just trying to figure out how do I work this back into the schedule. New work, new schedule, new priorities means that there's going to be some shifting and changes there. Um, and so I'm finally kind of getting back on that bandwagon. Really, I actually started doing that kind of earlier this year, like early 20, early February. Um, so earlier this month, I should say. And um, yeah, what month are we in? Yeah, we're still in February. So, um, you know, you can kind of think about this as like maybe a month late in a way. Um, but um, yeah, so I've, I've been creatively engaged, really excited about what's coming up. And I want to talk a little bit about what's coming up in 2022 for Healthcare OS important change to the way I do things with Healthcare West. As an example of this, or, or maybe for example, um, you know, I last, around, I think, um, March or April last year, I spent, I set out to kind of start working on uh, designing like a patient flow, like a full like patient encounter flow within Healthcare West. And that's a big challenge. I got most of the way through it. There's still a lot to do, of course, but I did get most of the way through it. But I didn't really put like strict parameters around what that was, what I was trying to do. And more importantly, whenever I do something like research or I come up with an idea about something for the marketing site, I don't really do a lot of strict kind of structuring and analysis about why this thing is important. And that's something I want to change in 2022. I want to be a little bit more methodical with how I approach the tasks and the things that I'm doing for Healthcare OS. But what does this look like in practice? Well, at the high level, and I'll just show you the high level stuff here today. Level, and I'll just show you the high level stuff here today. At the high level, it looks like this. It's 
some Q1, Q2 uh, type of uh, mappings. And these mappings are really important for a couple reasons. The first one is that it gives me a really clear understanding of what I'm trying to do. That's important, clarity uh, and uh, focus. Um, it also helps me identify for whom or what problem it's being done. Why is this thing important? Um, and then it's uh, telling me what does this ultimately supposed to help me do? And that is within the motivation and the theme columns in this little table that I'm showing. So the epic, what it is I'm going to do, the user of the problem, what it, uh, why, who's it for, the motivation, the theme. The motivation is specifically around the problem. So what is the, or, or, um, Sorry, it's my problem. So what exact, why do I need to do this? And the theme is where does this live? Like where exactly within the product life cycle, where in the company kind of business plan would this thing live, if you will. So in Q1, I've got three things, patient encounter flow, got to finish that. Um, payments and incentives. I need to do a lot more research in that. I need to understand that much more deeply than I currently do. And then marketing site V1.5. Now for the patient encounter flow, that's for the physician, of course, a physician uh, user. That's pretty straightforward. The motivation there is differentiation. I believe that's a big place where Healthcare West can differentiate itself amongst other EMRs. Um, and the theme there primarily is documentation, but um, at least the, the remaining tasks are around documentation, although it's a lot of workflow, etc. Um, now, the other two epics, Payments and Incentives, this is a research epic. This is not something that I'm actually necessarily going to do. I want to do more videos like this where I talk about that research. So um, it's going to be a lot more about like payment structure. Um, and this is also about problem definition. So the, for me, this is a lot of, okay, I need to know like what the heck are fee-for-service, value-based care, all these things. What do they mean? Why are they important? And what is the motivation for a physician inside of this? And then that, that theme inside of our product technically would be like incentives. So like, what are the incentives for physicians to start a practice? What is the business model? Um, how do they get paid? All that kind of stuff. Now, marketing site V1.5. The user and problem there is kind of the physician. I'm gonna talk about that more in a second. The motivation for me is clarification. Again, I'll talk, get to that in just a second. And the theme is go to market, which technically it is kind of go to market, at least in this sense. Um, technically, these videos would be con could be considered go to market, um, but here the marketing site improvements, in my opinion, require what are required for one very important reason. If we look at the current marketing site, I put this together. Um, I don't even really remember why I put this together. I think it was mid 2019. Um, hey uh, did this kind of manifesto thing as their um, the Hey email from Basecamp did a manifesto of like why they think they need to build it, and I was like, well, that's really cool. It's simple. It's easy. I can write it. Boom, that's where this is. A couple of things have happened since then. Uh, specifically, a lot of things have happened, but but a few very important things. One, I have gotten a lot more competent in this space. I know much more. I don't know everything. I don't pretend to know everything, but I do know a lot more. The second reason is, the second thing is that um, this is not specific enough. There, I have created a lot of clarity around what healthcare West is, where the value can be, and how that is valuable potentially to physicians uh, since then. And the other thing is I've created a lot of visuals. Now, visuals aren't always the most important thing, but I feel like in this case, visuals can be a differentiator. Um, most, and I'm not gonna go after any specific EHR company, but a lot of EHR websites, let's face it, are not that great. Um, there are a couple that are really good. Canvas Medical is one of the best that I've seen. Um, in fact, I don't, at the moment, they probably are the best. Um, and I'm not gonna purport to be, to create anything as good as Canvas, but I think that there is something that visual differentiation, branding, and the the the, the, um, the screens and the flows and things that I've been making can help create some clarity here, and they can help reinforce what this thing is. So the marketing site needs a redo. Now, you'll notice in Q2 down here, I've got marketing site V2. And that's because I want to take what I make for 1.5, I want to evolve the style, I want to evolve what it looks like, and I want to create a better marketing site that actually defines customer value, features, problems, workflows, all those things, and talk about how those things are accomplished in Healthcare OS. But I feel like, and this is why I'm doing a research task this quarter, I feel like one of the most important things in advance of that is understanding payments and incentives and even more generally business models inside of practices in healthcare. All of this is coming down to one very important thing. This year, I wanna be way more focused on the physician entrepreneur. 
the physician entrepreneur is someone who does not, as far as I know, is a decreasing person in the United States. I don't know if it's the right way to say that, but basically like there aren't as many physicians in private practice. Um, they're not, they're mostly physicians are now in uh, IDNs, integrated delivery networks, or they're in, um, in a corporate entity, uh, either owned by a big corporation, of course, or owned by private equity or something along those lines. But there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of physicians in the United States, and many of them have been in private practice. And I'm sure a significant portion of them want to be in private practice or have aspirations of starting their own practice. And so all of this for me has to be kind of uh, anchored in this idea of needing to talk, find physicians who want to be in private practice, talking to them and understanding how some of these things can connect into that, but also understanding how can, does Healthcare OS currently in this existing state fit into that or does it not? And that's the core for 2022, physician entrepreneurs. I want to talk to them, I want to find them, and I want to pick their brain. I want to see why why haven't you done private practice? What would you hope to be able to do private practice? Where would you want to do that? How would you do that? Why would you do that? Um, why do you feel like you can't do that? Have you tried? What kinds of resources have you looked for? Do you know people who have done it? Um, what are you worried about? Are you scared of trying to do it? All of those questions are things I want to ask them because those are the questions that truly can make or break the understanding of a customer and a user. And as I've discussed before, a physician entrepreneur, someone who owns their own practice or is in a private practice, is the closest um, user uh, aligned and customer aligned priorities that I can find. Those are That is the closest that I can find, at least unless there's some hospital system out there that wants to truly heavily invest in this, which maybe there are and I just don't know about it but they're the ones who are the most heavily aligned to be able to have a EHR that is easy to use, works for the practice, and they can make the buying decision to do it. So that's it. I hope you uh, learned something from this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you like the new format. This, I hope that I can improve this over and over. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to come in 2022. I'm kind of coming back from some burnout at the end of 2021, new job, all that's still exciting, but this is still a focus. This is still a priority for me. Um, and I really am excited to share the research that I do, the design work that I do, um, the exploration that I do, because I think that's really valuable for you, hopefully, and it's valuable for me to share it, have some accountability to do it. Um, if you haven't, you're welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's how you can get these videos fastest. You can also subscribe to my Substack blog, which is linked in the description. Um, you can get that. There's a little bit more extra detail in those posts there. Um, and you can follow me, Twitter, LinkedIn, Dribble, blah, 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 if you want. Um, but Substack and YouTube are really the places to get these updates if you want to get them regularly. Um, if there's anything that stood out to you, anything that was interesting to you, please let me know. I'd love to know about it. I'd love to discuss it with you if you are interested. So thanks for watching, and I really hope I'm going to see you very soon. Peace.